Hello? Please talk to me. We saw you deal with the compromised agents. Hello? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. You don't know that she's sane. Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. I Dr. Don't. Darling's dead, I think. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Yeah, we are. Hold on. We're coming out. That's us. <laughs> Dude, director. what are they wearing? Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily is that what those you. hra's things are the you are thing they're wearing? the director and that makes you special by definition trench is no longer the director obviously uh, i'm sorry i'm talking too much this whole situation is just a lot trench is dead shot ah i found his body the woman was so easy to accept that Trench was dead? Is this like a situation like the Santa Claus situation? Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. <laughs> it's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building. Dover? Dover? Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name very well. How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking <laughs> unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. Doe is good. Well, welcome if to the stream. You cleanse a control point. Then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. Oh my god, this I inner monologue. Try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? Yeah. You did I... it before. Push the hiss out. I'm gonna look in here first. What's in here? Control points. Control points are located at the Bureau, uh, has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. And the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the, I'm going to say, triangle arrangement. The surrounding area will not experience any unforeseeable building shifts. These control points are discovered by trial and error detection of an unobstruct unobstructed ping using the gun within the 37 I don't know <laughs> numerous researchers have attempted to find control points calling them nerve junctions or control points or vulnerable spots at the oldest house the common factor in these theories is that the control points are susceptible to external influence which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside theoretically this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole by testing but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be uh managed I don't know Trying to ma I'm trying to ad-lib with those. I'm also trying to think of what would be the most suitable option for that. All right, so we're supposed to cleanse the hiss. Ah, there you go. Cleanse your hiss. All right, dude, let's push you out. Did 
Is she dead? Did we kill her? Oh, we killed her. Sorry. It didn't work. Ooh. Too deep. Sorry. It out rips them apart. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Jesse, over here. Yeah, we'll talk here in a second. I just want to look around. Fine. Fine. Go back and talk to her. Where'd she go? Wait, where did she go? Dude, where'd you go? Oh, there she is. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Alright. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. It's a town named Ordinary? The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest. She yet. probably knows. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. Or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. Huh. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. So, can I just go back to being the janitor's assistant? <laughs> I don't want this on me. This is too much responsibilities. Not a leader. Right, Jesse? I don't want to be a director. Let's just go back to being an assistant to the janitor. you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand. <laughs> and in your two weeks' notice? <laughs> I'm not looking for proof. Will the gun let me do that? I'm sorry, gun, but I gotta I gotta put it in my notice. No matter what they told me, I appreciate years, my time working with I you. I enjoyed the experience, now. but I, I'm, I'm ready to bounce. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. <laughs> gun is HR. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Oh, look, it's ringing for us. I like those old rotary phones. Those are fun. Ow! Look. Let's make Ati the new director. He seems to know what's happening. That is a phone that has no rotary dial. I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. Okay. You should have gotten it open by now. All right, I got some new things. Uh, I want that one. 25%. Yeah. Oh, so that's one seven. Oh, that's an actual health boost of seventy percent. This one allows health recovery pickup twenty. Yeah, I think I might have it. 
boost the amount of health I pick up. But then I'll get the health boost later when I get another uh, upgrade slot. Grip is reliable with semi-automatic fire that was deadly shot at sh deadly at short and long range. Okay, so we got a better grip. Got more materials. House memory, hidden trend, unidentified reading. Okay. Portrait of Director Zachariah Trench. Okay. That's it. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. I want to talk to you. The a bit hotline more. should be in the communications department. Oh, okay. Uh, the origins of the hiss. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. High strangeness. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there, if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Okay. Tell me about this oldest house. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. Daisy, hello. Welcome I've to the been stream. To New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Hmm. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, Whoa. I never would have found the front door. Okay. Do you guys see, like, the, the... These are probably all the past directors up here, right? This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Okay, uh, we'll just talk to her about all these things. object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? I mean, it's her job to memorize Got this, Jesse. Thanks. She literally works here. So HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. He knew everything. All right. Thank you Thanks. for answering our questions. Thanks I feel like I know more. Just All right. Let me know. So, we learn more about the Hiss. We learn more about what these houses of power are. Hello. More material. Is there a save? Oh, there's a photo mode. Okay. Cool. Keylit. Hello. I don't know. I don't think this is a game is my style, so I won't stick around, but you want to pop and say you found stuff through Overcooked. Oh, hello. Welcome. Thank you for coming by and dropping in the stream. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. 
I thought that was a Coke bottle at first. Oh man, I'm blind. Okay. I really want to look around. Also, I, I never got um, any clearance, did I? I don't have a clearance level yet, so I can't get through that one door over there. Alright, so they said the communications board is that way. But I want to go upstairs first, just to look around real fast. I just want to see if there's anything up in these uh, offices that I'm missing. Yep, look at that. Right there. Gimme. House memory. I'm really curious what these materials are going to be used for later. I'm not seeing any other interactable objects. Can I go through here? Can. Okay. What are you? Shifted bathroom. Uh, wait, where was it? It was this one, right? R4 reports? No, we already read that. Should read that too. Oh, shifted bathroom complaint. I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. Worked my ass off in the Islamabad um, station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. Dr. Rickdredges. <laughs> oh, man. The entitlement. Ooh. Oh, never mind. That was more reading. Workplace shitter. Look, he worked his ass off for an executive bathroom. Where is it? Oh, what's this? Is that Nixon? That's Nixon in the middle. Hmm. Lots of weird things in here. Technology, technological restrictions. Uh, there it is. Okay. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technolo uh, technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any, I'm going to say, radio signal? Radio waves are the only transmittable signals in the oldest house. Oh, never mind. Probably like a data signal or wireless signal. If the power of the collective conscious is taken into account, it could be certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural sense for the oldest house to use them. Similarly, these items may not have... Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology, technologically... Technology, oh my god, I can't read right now. Technology may be moving at a too fast pace for these, uh, for the objects of power to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Uh, his agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. Okay. Wow. So, cell phones and new items just implode. Gotcha. Can't get through there. Oh, cool. There's another room in here. Uh, there you are. I saw you. More house memories. I really want to know what these things do. Oh. Wait. Oh, yeah. I was just out here. Okay. I was just out here, so... Board room. Just making sure we're not missing anything. It's a lot of stuff to look at. God, I, I am always so impressed when games like really populate the world with items that just make sense. 
Like they have all these um, charts and like pieces of paper and documents and figures. They're really just grounds the world in this weirdness. Okay, Owl is already in here. Okay, cool. Oh, what's over here? Ah, clearance level. Alright. Let's move on. Eh. Alright, I need to go that way. There it is again. A this? welcome message. Ooh, energy boost. What does that do? 6% energy. Oh, you can deconstruct these things? Let's deconstruct this one then. Because we have a better one. Okay. Ooh, that, that noise. I don't like that noise. No clearance still. Those are in heavy lockdown. Hello? Um, he didn't make it. Woo! Hello? I can't tell if I'm shooting you. use more health. I could use a lot more health. Give me that. Yeah, <laughs> right? I'm the director and I have zero clearance. I'm sure I'll find like a clearance key card here soon. Like, I'm gonna kill somebody that has one or I'm gonna pick it up. Travel costs. Visit the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel Inn, in and out Aztec Court Sleepy Bear Motel, aw. Silver Spurs Ranch Elgato Blanco Inn and A Plus Lodge. Accommodation, $831.29. Meals, gasoline, mini bar. Damn, the mini bar ran you through so much money. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual. Aw. I mean, if you're going to charge somebody, you might as well do it to your, your company. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a Lockland state. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rally and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent L. Hines. I need more Costco loyalty points for a higher clearance, right? Uh, Benjamin, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Have a good rest of your day. All right. Oh, the noises they make. Is there more of them down there? Oh, that's nice. That's good. No, that's good. That That's a good room over there. I'm going to go down here first. Aha, I knew it. I knew it. Whoa, 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 Don't do that near me. I don't appreciate you guys doing that near me. Oh, hi. Hiss barriers. I'm, I'm fine not going to that room right now. No, I understand it's designed to be unsettling. It is v doing a good job of being unsettling. Okay, just just kind of sort of looking around. It's a nice cafeteria. It's a shame that everybody turned into hiss monsters. Oh, hello. Havana. 
Event summary. An auditory event occurred in the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Uh, a thousand deaths were reported. I don't really know. And outgoing information has been managed. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been uh, the Loch Ness Monster. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise accompanied by the intense pressures in the ears. This lasted for 20 minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the continental U.S. After Formula One or I.9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identity, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. A cowboy boot? Ashton Comet, thank you so much for that sub. Hello. Drop them bears. Oh, wait. Got them back collectible. Yeah, that took a minute to go. Yeehaw, indeed, right? Uh... What is this one? No, 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 no. This is ammo refund chance rate of fire. Oh, that's actually really good. Okay, we get refund some ammo on hit. I'll take that. I think there was also one more collectible we just got. Hiss barrier. The Hiss resonance uh, field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. Destroying the multiple concentrated resonance source found in the vicinity, or destroy the Hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources from Hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these resources, the bar barrier will fall. Does an interactive or does an inactive structure made of hiss resonance qualify as a con conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? How does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to the blank file for full report. Okay. Open up. <gasps> what? Oh. This hurt us? I went in. Oh, no, that hurts. Okay. No, we can't go in there. That's that's a no. That's a uh, we'll come back to it once we get a new power up. All right. Um Check out the calf. Oh, hello. Unstable area. Please be aware, due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Uh, reference chart. Green is stable. Yellow is low possibility or of unanticipated, unanticipated building shifts. High likelihood of unanticipated building shift. Frequent and unanticipated building shifts. Okay. If you really try to listen through some of the background noise, you can kind of hear pieces of conversation that they're having. It's like just a bunch of people talking over each other. I saw something over there. I don't know if I can get to it yet. All right, let's figure out what this is. Oh, nope. It's, it's overpowering here. Okay, can't go that way. With you on that. Okay, can't go that way. What are they talking about Janice and accounting? That'd be hilarious. Ugh, no. I saw something up there. I just want to see if I can cheese my way to it. Yeah! <laughs> I knew it! Gimme. Oh, that hurt? Ouch. Alright, so I need to go this way. Fun. This is fun. 
Machine God. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones you, anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fan plus the timing belt for my car's engine and the wheels for my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address in the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate for God. Aw, God's like a baby. He'll learn how to move on his own. Mm. I don't like how you guys are, um... I don't like, I don't like this. No, I think there's a photo mode. Let me try this photo mode. Uh, do, 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 do. Real. Real. Uh, nope, let's go like that. Uh, roll camera? Oh, no, 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 don't, don't roll that camera. Okay. Field of view. Aperture? Oh, Alright, let's take the photo. Cool. That's pretty neat. They're just ch they are chilling. It's true, Teo. Also, Teo, hello! Welcome to the stream. Welcome to... Um, high strangeness stream. I should just be calling these like conspiracy terms. Singing fish! Mr. Governor. Gov. Governor. Governor. I call the police, but they'll never come to my house. I got a problem. You gotta send folks to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got a devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. <laughs> Says a lot of curse words. The devil got my house because of this fish. You got to come and handle it. My wife is real upset. Real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. I am upset because of this devil fish and sometimes it curses at me. You love the uh, use of brutalist, brutalist architecture in this game? Polygon did a video on it. Oh, I should watch that. But guys, I got a devil fish in my house. It keeps singing devil songs and cursing at me. Can somebody please deal with it? Dead letter approval. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm so upset. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the, Bureau, cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will be provided an extremely handy database that research teams can use to re uh, search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows in the authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. These letters come to us from various places and times, gathered by the Postal Service, are as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the rawness ones simply use insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve my dead letters. B. Bartwell. P. Bartwell. You bet one of Dwayne's friends reprogrammed the fish. Look, if he did, that's obsidian. Oh, I triggered it. Hi. Oh god, you got you got you got like a barrier. I gotta like shoot that barrier down, don't I? Gotcha. There's more, isn't there? Look, you guys are making me real upset. Oh, I knew it! Oh. 
Get out of here. Alright. Dude, this is upsetting. Oh, where are you? Where are you? I heard you. Are you upstairs? Maybe? I bet he's upstairs. Oof. Alright. Ooh, damage boost. Oh, yeah. Let's get a damage boost on this. So, shatter projectile choke. 16%. I could. Okay. I could have the projectile shatter on impact. That's good for, like, big crowds, but I think a damage boost would be nicer. Because then it won't matter if I get ammo back on hit because these guys will be dead faster. Have I ever played Alan Wake? I have not, but I think this is part of the Alan Wake uh, universe, if I'm not mistaken. I remember trying to play Alan Wake and was sort of disinterested by it. Ooh, but I think it was just the gameplay. I should go back and try it again. Oh yeah, that damage boost is huge. That's some good damage boosting. Alright, let's clear this area. Cleanse that point. There are a lot of Easter eggs in this game. Ah, yeah, I should probably go back and replay it. I've heard good things about it. I think at the time I wasn't in the headspace for it. I'm willing to try it again. It's probably, I could probably pick it up real cheap now too. Yeah, I think the framework's working, Ash. Also, Devilfish singing devil songs in my house. I'm real upset. Real upset. <gasps> Just look at it. Eight Floppy disks. 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Whopping 80 kilobytes! The disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. It's good floppy. It's not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oops. <laughs> and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we've, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. It's, it's a good amount of pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. <gasps> good job. They launched just a cup and a couple dozen pencils. Oops. We're just gonna call him oops from now on, guys. Oops. Hey, right, it's over here. That's where we need to go. We need to go to the communications department. We came from there. That's a massive floppy disks. Communications. We're on the right track. Yeah, it was. I remember having games on floppy disks. I remember I was so proud. So, okay. Once upon a time, when Independence Day came out, they were selling a video game that they made, but the video game came in a cereal box, and I was so hyped to get it. I don't remember what cereal it was, but I remember getting the floppy. That game was creepy, but it was on a floppy, and it was amazing. I should find that game. I don't have it anymore, but I should see if it's like somewhere like on like a... Um, I should see if it's like on some website, you know? Like if they ever like archived it. Ash, stop pooping them. Stop oops pooping them. This is going onto my YouTube channel and I don't need you to oops pooping them all over the time. Get out of here, Ash. Personal mod. Okay. Energy recovery speed. No, I'm gonna keep my um my health recovery. 